So this is what we got. This is the currency, uh, the Dominican Republic currency, right? So my recommendation is always use the card, get as much of this currency rather than blowing up your US dollars. They'll take it, but they will make sure that's all gone, right? You, you don't want the dollars to be gone. So a lot of people talk about the six months Dominican Republic citizenship for free, right? This one is for free, but hardly anyone tells you how to do this or shows you the steps. It's easy to talk about countries without actually going there and showing you stuff, but we are here on the ground. And my intention of this video is uh, not to cover the upscale five-star bars, restaurants, and places, right? That's gonna be upcoming in the next few videos. But my intention is to show you the ground level realities, some places where you're inside the country, you wanna experience the real Dominican Republic. A lot of people talk about how unsafe it is when you roam on the streets, right? The shady areas. So my intention is to walk through and show you what it is like outside. So you're seeing a lot of uh, kids locally playing out there again these are not some of the best neighborhoods but the whole idea is to cover such places and before you head to Dominican Republic there's something very important that you need to know is that you're not directly gonna land and get the permanent residency card there's one step before that that you need to do and let me show you real quick what I'm talking about you need to get this guy printed on your passport. This is the permanent residency visa. So this is very important because this is what you're going to convert into the actual PR card. Now this citizenship can be applied for as early as six months, up to two years. It really depends upon what criteria you're talking about. Forget the upscale places, but let's say you're looking for a getaway, you're looking for a place where you can be left alone, and looking at something like this in the interiors. A cheap property can actually get you the permanent residency, so you have a hideout, right? And I'm not talking about bad stuff. Let's say you're incorrectly framed, you're innocent, but something terribly went wrong. You want a true plan B. Not fake plan B stuff, not those Caribbean islands who are going to catch hold of you and throw you out if something goes wrong. Mexico is the number one option where you're going to get the permanent or the temporary residency in one day with us. And we have legally designed a process to get you this benefit in a single day. Now, this one is not that fast, but it is still quite fast and faster than a lot of other residencies. So once you have that permanent residency visa stamped, the second step, and we'll cover the second step in detail with my attorney here in Dominican Republic. She's one of the best attorneys that I've found because she's the fastest at that particular office in Santo Domingo. So we are gonna cover a lot of details. If you aren't an advanced member of this channel, make sure to turn on the advanced membership so you get access to all the content and all the videos that I'll be posting in that section. So these are the streets that you absolutely want to check out in Dominican Republic. You're going to be living in something like this versus an upscale condo because then you're off the grid, off the radar. You're in the right localities, the right locations. Quite beautiful, safe. And this is not planning, right? This is not where you're spending your life. This is when the times are bad. This is where you want to be. You have the freedom, pretty much can do whatever the hell you want to do out here. No one's watching you. No one's stopping you. I like places like this. For plan B stuff. I know it's filthy. I know it's dirty at certain locations. But there are a lot of other filthy places where you don't want to be. So let's talk about, and I wanted to cover a, a very important tip when you're coming here. 
is that a lot of YouTubers, a lot of travel vloggers tell you to carry cash, carry dollars. Now that is good if you're coming for a short vacation, maybe a day or two. But I would say that's exactly what you don't want. You don't want to carry US dollars because once you start giving those away, I mean, who does not want US dollars, right? So they'll take it, but the currency exchange rate is gonna suck. You're gonna blow up all your dollars. Instead, what I recommend is use a credit card or a debit card, let's say a debit card, go to the ATM and withdraw the local currency. That's gonna be much cheaper. You're gonna blow up less dollars. You're gonna blow up their currency, which is quite cheap as compared to the dollar. So always withdraw the money and then you can spend as much as you like. The other do I would say in Dominican Republic is that when you're going and checking out the beaches, don't just go to the beach, right? There are beaches everywhere, but try and get some activity on the beach. One of my favorite activities is the horseback riding on the beach. It's beautiful. Try it out and you'll know what I'm talking about. So these are some of the, once we exit this checkpoint, these are some of the places that they ask you to avoid. So you don't want to be playing games with crazy people. But my objective here is to test it out, right? What happens? Okay, they might grab your camera and disappear but let's check it out let's see if that really happens right a lot of people say that hey don't flash your camera someone is going to come and take it away these are the bikes and they say that one of the guys from the bikes is going to randomly flick your camera that was a taxi guy quite a friendly guy <laughs> so he wasn't coming and flicking my camera he was uh, a taxi man, right? Now, we aren't taking any bike taxis. So the first step is getting the visa stamped. The second step is getting the card converted. And third step is to apply for citizenship. As I said, either six months or two, or two years based on the criteria that you're choosing and you can conveniently apply for the Dominican Republic citizenship. And one of the other things that I wanted to talk about is that this is not a strong passport. A lot of people are just crazy about the access and how strong the passport is. This option is not for the strength of the passport. This option is really good to have a redundancy, to have a meaningful Plan B citizenship so once you have this passport in your portfolio, these are one of the hidden gems, right? You want Mexico for sure. That is one of the best hidden gems. But let's say you have started that option or that's one of the options that you're looking at. Then the second best option is to grab this nationality if you qualify, if you can. It does have some interesting access. You know, it's getting Thailand. It already has Brazil, Japan. So those are some interesting uh, access points that you get with the Dominican Republic passport. Also, a lot of people, especially presidents, one such president who I interviewed loves Dominican Republic. He thinks it's his favorite. And funnily enough, uh, he claims that his country's passport has access to Dominican Republic. Now, I don't attest to it. I don't know if that's true or not. But if it is true, then I might, might as well think about grabbing that one, right? Again, we got to test it out. All these things, you got to be on the ground, test it out for yourself. Staying in hotels and showing you hotels is fun. All right, I get it. But you also want to have practical ground level reality. And this is where we're going to cover Dominican Republic, explore Dominican Republic in a lot of detail. Now I did this with Guatemala and I discovered an absolutely fabulous Plan B option. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. 
and now is the time to explore Dominican Republic and really familiarize ourselves with this country, test how that citizenship option works and before that test how the permanent residency works. So we're going to do all of that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe. And if you are interested in starting the Dominican Republic residency, uh, here we are talking about the permanent residency, right? A couple of qualifying criteria: you earn two thousand dollars in qualifying income, or you purchase a property or a condo in one of these places. Or let's say you don't have qualifying income, you can create qualifying income by converting your bank balance into a qualifying income. And we are talking about very low incomes, some of the lowest numbers in the world. And if you let's say do that, then you can come here, collect your permanent residency card and then wait for your citizenship and time flies right six months or let's say two years is not a long time to wait for a quality plan b option not a quality access document but a quality plan b option so this could be your opportunity so this is the bank i'm going to get some withdraw some cash from the ATM. So this is what we got. This is the currency, uh, the Dominican Republic currency, right? So my recommendation is always use the card, get as much of this currency rather than blowing up your US dollars. They'll take it, but they will s make sure that's all gone, right? You, you don't want the dollars to be gone. You just want to use your card, take out some local cash and start blowing that up. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subbed, and catch you in the next one.